Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming for you a plan with me. Now this was a week that already passed um, so it's going to be a mock plan with me. Um, the only thing I'm going to be throwing in is what you just saw on that sticky note there but I really loved this kit and so I really wanted to share with you how I used it. So um, this kit that I'm about to show you is the Glam Planner December Monthly Mystery Kit, and it was based off of the Chronicles of Narnia, and it is absolutely beautiful. I think it's the perfect wintry colors. It's not too holiday-ish. It's just perfect for January, so I threw it in for last week. Now, these boxes here you're going to see are huge. They are <laughs> four days, and if you use an Erin Condren planner, they are two box sizes. Um, they might be one and a half, but they are huge. So I know a lot of people ended up selling these kits when they got it just because they were scared <laughs> to put such huge boxes down. But I rose to the challenge and loved the way that this spread turned out. So um, yeah, I will leave a link down below to um, everything that is Glam Planner, like her... Um, YouTube channel, her Facebook, as well as her Etsy shop. Now, I am not subscribed to her monthly kit anymore. I used to be, um, but then I just found that I wasn't really enjoying every single month um, as much as I enjoyed maybe some other kits. So, um, what I've been doing is if she releases a kit um, and posts it to her YouTube channel that I love, I will go to her Facebook page and see if anybody is selling it and usually there are so that's what I did with this and I did get a little creative with how I laid this down just because it is a uniquely formatted kit so I ended up putting the washi just on top of those giant boxes and then I just went ahead and went in with my to-dos um, and in the middle there I got even more creative and you'll see that in just a second but yeah I just can't get over how freaking pretty these stickers are. Um, and the monthly kits, if you do decide to do this subscription, are all glossy. So they're really, really great. And yeah, I've had several of these. If you've seen my Erin Condren flip through from last year, you know that I am obsessed with Glam Planner. So I'll link that below as well if you're interested to see what kits I've used last year. But yeah, now I'm just going in, doing my little to-dos. Um, I don't know. I have been having the hardest time lately laying stickers down flat. Like, has anybody else been feeling that struggle? Because I've been riding that struggle bus so hard. Like, I was looking at my spread from this week, and I totally, totally screwed up how um, the headers are supposed to look along the top. They are just, like, totally crooked. But, oh well, what can you do? So, yep, just adjusting those. That's why it's taken forever in a day. Um, yeah, but again, like I said, I loved this kit and it kind of makes me want to go watch Chronicles of Narnia, not going to lie to you guys. Like, I don't know. Does anybody else cry watching that movie? I feel like I cry watching every movie, but whatever. What can you do? I'm a sensitive soul, man, but whatever. And yeah, now we go in with our little littles and just enjoy doing that. We lay them down, lay them down, lay them down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know. I'm a little out of my game today. I'm just literally lying on the floor in my closet doing this voiceover right now. And why am I in my closet, you might ask. Well, dear subscriber, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe down below. I promise I'm not always this socially awkward. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I am in the floor, or not in the floor, I'm on the floor in my closet because it is the only place that does not have the wind blowing in through a window, and I know that I could close my window, but then it would be friggin' hot, so not gonna do it. But yes, like I said, um, for this little middle section, I did get creative. Usually I put those, um, half boxes, uh... I don't know, kind of zigzagging in full boxes, but because her full gigantic boxes were so pretty, I didn't want to mess those up at all. So I put those just in their own little area under the littles header, and that is where I would write in, um, if I was uploading a video, I would write that in, um, or if I was, um, 
just wanting to journal like a little sum sum that happened during that day, I would throw it in there as well. Um, and apparently that is not my littles header. That is my today's header because here comes the littles. <laughs> so these littles do overlap a teeny tiny bit with the giant boxes. Um, well, not the giant boxes, the washi. But honestly, who cares about the washi when you have like a freaking snow princess at the bottom of your page? So that's what's going on here. And I don't know if it was just me, but those washi um, watercolor looking things, they totally give me 90s feels, guys. Like, I had this pillowcase, and I don't know if I've talked about it here. I feel like I've been talking about this pillowcase a lot, but that's what those colors remind me of. It's just that pillowcase that was my favorite with the creepy little smiling weird thing. But I just, I love these colors for that reason because they're so, like, sentimental to me, which is weird. But they are, so there's that. And then I went in with my littles, and those are just my meal tracking littles. That is the only little that is 100% guaranteed to go inside each and every spread every single week. And that's just because I'm not always going to be doing laundry or getting mail or... I don't know, what are the others? Watching TV. The Glam Planner includes a lot of TVs for her littles, but the meal tracker is the only one I throw in, guaranteed. But yeah, so I went ahead through in this weekend banner just to mark the weekend in case you don't know. It is Saturday and Sunday. It's important to know because those are the two days every single week that I look forward to. And then of course, it's time for the sidebar. Now, this is the only single full box that she put in this kit, and it is absolutely gorgeous, and the quote just gives me all of the feels ever. But it says, someday you will be old enough to read fairy tales again. And it is great. So there's that. And then right below that, I have my work little Monday through Friday checkbox uh, just to mark my schedule because adulting is fun, guys. It is not. That is a lie. But whatever. Buying stuff with your money that you get from working full time is fun. So <laughs> that's why we go. And then, of course, I usually always put in a little habit tracker that is marked work out. I love it when kits throw in headers that say the things that I want to put in there so that I don't have to use my handwriting because it just throws off the ambiance, I feel like. And then, of course, right underneath that, I have my little clean these checklist. And then this week, and that's where I'll just write in like weekly goals or maybe some events that are happening. So if I have birthdays or, I don't know, appointments or anything, I'll write those in the sidebar. And then I wasn't sure what to put at the bottom because there was kind of like an awkward amount of space. So I just took one of the remaining half boxes and threw it down there. And then I picked up this little seal from the deco sheet and put his cute little fluffy face at the bottom there. Just to add a little like, I don't know, pizzazz, I guess. Because who doesn't love fluffy seals? But then, of course, once you start decorating with seals and fluffy faces, you have to just keep going. So I took this <laughs> this deco sheet and I basically, like, took all of the snowflakes I could find and just put them in between the dates up there just to make it not so white, I guess, um, because the rest of the kit is covered and then there's just those white spaces. So I threw those little snowflakes up and then just to add something to those um, half boxes, I threw in some deco, kind of like every other box, just so it wasn't too busy, but it still had something. And then I love the way that this sidebar turned out when I threw in the tree and, of course, the little lamppost from Chronicles of Narnia. And that is what it looks like, guys. So obsessed. And, of course, um, I did say this is a mock spread, but I did go in and write in that one thing I had on my sticky note there. Now, the reason I left this in and didn't edit it out is because I actually show you guys a pen that I've been using that I have been loving. And it's this pen right here. I got it from the dollar spot in a pack of two at Target. And I just love the way that it writes. And it's so girly. And it just looks really great in the pen holder next to my planner. So that's the reason I left this part in, in case you're wondering. But yeah, I just threw a little reminder there with a dot. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next week.